Hi guys, assalamualaikum and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very, very long time since I've actually recorded anything and I'm really excited to just um, do like a get ready with me and chat through what's been happening the last few months while I've been offline. Um, if you don't already, follow me on my Instagram where I'm a lot more active um, but hopefully I'm going to be picking up uh, with YouTube again um, but yeah it's been crazy and hectic so I'm gonna basically talk to you about everything that's happening all the good all the bad and yeah I'm gonna get straight into it and start off with working on my base um, so I'm also going to be mentioning um, some favorite products that I've been loving uh, because I haven't done a favorites video in forever so I thought this would be a great way to kind of talk about some products and what's been happening and actually show you on my face how it looks so let's get started so starting off we have the Caudalie Beauty Alexa, which I mean it's an absolute favorite isn't it I love this product I have several backups um it's one of my favorites um it's just refreshing hydrating it's all natural and it just makes me feel refreshed whenever I do use it um this one is the like new packaging that they've released and it's adorable I love it um but yeah I've been using this quite often i had the small travel version which i just finished that so obviously i've moved on to the bigger one i usually have the bigger one on my desk um so i can use it whenever and the travel one tends to stay in my handbag but i finished that one so i'm gonna have to get out another travel one um so that i can carry it around with me Next favourite that I've had is some face products. So we've got um, the Nivea uh, Nourishing Day Cream 24 Hour Moisture Natural Almond Oil with SPF 15. This I have used many a times. This is not a new favourite. This is just rediscovering a favourite because I was using the Ole Beauty Fluid for a really long time and I had purchased this um as like a backup ready to use whenever that finished um and yeah i'm now back to using this and i love it i really enjoy this um day to day moisturizer it just super hydrating it does the job it's got spf so love this um and yeah i just really like this um I love the smell of it, that's another thing that I really like about the Nivea products. Their smell is just really good. I also have been using the Barium Serum Mist, uh, the cooling, uh, cooling Cucumber version. I think I have all three scents that they do. Um, this is the one I'm currently using and I think I'm about halfway through it. Sometimes the, the button doesn't really work that well, but aside from that, I really like this. Um, I also have these two products. I've got my La Roche-Posay SPF 50. Um, I think everyone loves this product. Um, I took this on holiday. I went to Turkey. Oh, that's one thing I did that I can talk about. I went to Turkey for a week with my, my husband and my brother and mum. And it was just a really nice trip. I, honestly, we went to a resort. We were able to do swimming and just relax and unwind. And I feel like, obviously, with COVID and everything, we've never really got a chance to do that properly. Um, like, with me and my husband, we did a lot of traveling in the uk but like to go to like a hot country for um relaxation this was like the first trip since covid um and like lockdown eased and yeah it was really nice the food was great um and i feel like everyone was going to antalya this year um so it wasn't a surprise i feel like every person i've spoken to has gone oh wait you went there too i did um and it was really nice it was lovely and the other thing is the Boots Glow Eye Cream. Um, I'm actually not going to put this on now. Actually, I might just put a little bit. There's barely anything in it left. I'm just like squeezing 
the very last bit of it which i honestly have enjoyed this eye cream it's super affordable as well so it's been a really nice one um and now we move on to uh base products so we've got the l'oreal true match nude um, this is a plumping tinted serum. This is 1% pure hyaluronic acid. I have the shade medium and tan, medium to tan, which is 5 to 6. Um, this is phenomenal. I think I'm nearly finished with this. Like, honestly, I don't think there's a lot left. I have been using this religiously for the last few months. Um, I have other products that I will kind of use in place of this. Sometimes when I'm like, okay, you keep using the same product, but this is a great everyday um, product that you can use. It's got good skincare benefits. It's beautiful. And the color match for me has been really great, actually. Five to six has worked fantastic. And it's just super lightweight. It gives you the little bit of coverage you want. It's like your skin, but better. And I absolutely have been obsessed with it and I'm pretty sure I'm running out of it quite soon because I have been using this so often. It's crazy how often I use this and actually a little goes a long way as well. Like you don't need that much and I, I generally tend to use this as an everyday product so I'm not looking for like heavy coverage or anything like that. I just want something to cover up how my skin is naturally looking just to give myself a little bit more um coverage um and yeah it's just a really beautiful product if you have not tried this out definitely do this is one of those products that i just don't think i could ever do without now um because it's so so beautiful on the skin like already a full alert and awake and my skin just looks far better uh, with just a little bit of coverage um, with this product uh, yeah I feel like I have spoken about this a little bit on my channel but not really I can't remember the last time I on what I recorded last honestly it's been so long I feel like there's a couple of videos that I have already filmed that I just never published so I'm actually gonna go through those as well and see what's worth publishing because i think some of them are like get ready with me's next we have concealer i have been religiously using the Too faced born this way concealer um this is in the shade golden beige i've also got another shade um i just literally pick and mix i don't really have a preference i just use whichever looks good um so this is this one here um and i always tend to go for like a thicker or like a more pigmented concealer when i do use this product if i want that extra coverage i also have been loving and reusing the bourgeois radiance reveal concealer in the shade 02 beige this is so beautiful under the eyes um i know bourgeois kind of left for a little while and then it came back again and so um yeah i love this product so i have been really loving this um yeah because they left i like bought backups of this and now they're back again so that's great um but yeah so what else has been happening obviously for those of you who don't know i am a journalist i'm an apprentice journalist at the time so i'm actually been quite busy at work i went back into the office after training in march and we spent three months in different areas of the company um so i started on the star magazine desk which if you follow my instagram you'll see a lot of stuff that i did on their desk um i then moved on to the arts desk which was really nice as well um i went to the opera for the first time uh which i had never done before which was awesome um and like it was a really different experience to what I knew about opera um but yeah I really enjoyed that that was all part of like um seeing how they operate because they obviously write about art and culture and uh yeah it was really good um and I really enjoyed my time there but it's definitely not something I would pursue long term arts is not really 
my forte so like with the arts desk there was also um film tv um and i i just found that as much as i love tv and movies and shows and stuff like that it just wasn't the right fit for me in terms of like pitching ideas so i just um kind of went with it um but i've learned that it isn't the right choice for me long term so now i'm part of the engagement team which has been really interesting i've been enjoying myself actually um it's a uh, very much about like the readers comments and like how we can make sure that we're doing stuff that our subscribers want to see more of and like pitching ideas around them um i'm just using the laura mercier translucent powder i love this powder still one of my favorites and i use it all the time so no surprise there between this and the huda b21 i don't think i ever need to find another like baking setting powder because this just does the job and it's been fantastic oh another product that i have recently purchased is the soap and glory one heck of a blot powder i used to see this on literally everyone's instagram no youtube channel back in like 2010 and I used to always say to myself, I will get this product one day. And I finally have. And yeah, I've been enjoying it. It's been a nice product. It's um, it, it's a translucent powder. I think they do it in different shades. I'm not sure about that, actually. That might be wrong. Um, but yeah, it's just a mattifying powder, which for me, I've got like normal to dry skin. But I do think um, more recently, I've started to pick up on a little bit of oil in my t-zone area so this has been good for that so the next product i have is the nars um sunkiss bronzing cream in casino this is a beautiful bronzer i absolutely love this this one and my huda beauty one are like rivals against each other because this one i like as a more like everyday sort of bronzer the tantor i feel like is definitely one that's more super good glam um so i would tend to wear that for weddings and then i've also got the fenty one which i love as like a just a nice glowy bronzer this one is matte and the fenty one is a bit more creamy and a bit more um like glowy looking um but yeah this is the one i've been using most recently and i just love this because it is beautiful easy to blend um, you can get heavy handed with this and it won't look horrible so that's also great just in case you do have a heavy hand um, but yeah I absolutely think this is beautiful um, I actually did a video on the three bronzers that I just mentioned which you can check out down below um, but yeah I really like this one I tend to put some on my nose but yeah as I was saying I am on the engagement team and it's been really nice um, I've been enjoying myself but um, it's definitely less writing with this team uh, which I don't necessarily mind but I think long term I always want to get back to writing um, then we have some blushes now I've got three that I want to share with you guys these blushes are some of my favorites right now uh, the Max Factor A Cream Puff in Stunning Sienna is oh, so beautiful. This I have used this so religiously. I love it. I'm not going to use it today. I then have the Westman Altier. I think I'm saying that right. In the shade... Uh, what is this called? Uh, is it Doodoo? -doo? I don't... I'm going to say do do and it's this really nice pinky color um and then the last thing that i have been enjoying a lot recently is the pixie x louise uh row um cream blusher palette oh so many blusher shades in this palette you can literally mix and match and choose whichever you want um i tend to like stay around this region right here and just go pretty much like this just literally swirl it around let it pick up whatever it wants to basically and then i just add it on and like stipple it depending on sometimes the brush it depends on the brush you're using i think this is the brush 
I tend to use because it co is compact. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful blush palette. I love it. Um, it's so good. And there's so many colours, so many choices you can make with it. I'm going to brush off this excess powder. In terms of brows, I've been using these two quite often. I love the Primark Brow Pencil. Uh, I use the shade Dark Brown. These are £1. They've got a spoolie at the end. It's super affordable and it actually does a really nice job. I think these are rivals with some of the bigger brands out there. It's really waxy. It just stays put. I've got thick brows so this for me does exactly what it needs to do and I love it. So I also have this Morphe mirror that I use all the time and yeah this just the waxy feeling from this brow pencil is really good it's just so nice and like you can just brush it out and give yourself more like natural brows as well um and i just find it's quick and easy and it really and truly does the job see i don't feel like i need to do much with my brows just because for everyday brows they tend to be nice as is like I would use my ABH brow definer or the uh, brow pomade if I was going for like a big event I've also been enjoying the Morphe 2 deep brown brow gel um, this has been one that I've just kind of gravitated towards um, yeah and it does a nice job I can't remember where I bought it from though but yeah it's really nice and does the job there you go in terms of eye products I go so I go through so many different ones like I still love the Zoeva Caramel Melange palette which is beautiful and stunning I'm also obsessed with the Huda Beauty um, 9 pan eyeshadow palettes which I've got like a range of them I'm also still loving these from Hidda Beauty, the matte and metal melted shadows. I have about nine of these. I feel like I've done a video on these, so you can check that out if you want to see all the shades that I've got. Um, I think I'm going to quickly just use this one for today. Um, it's just nice and easy. It does the job. I tend to not actually go for the glittery side that often, but the matte side is really nice i mean the glittery side i use when i'm like going out um more special occasions but like for day to day i might just go for something a little bit more subtle um oh uh this brush has been one of my favorites so far it's the zoeva 227 Lux soft definer brush oh this just blends like a dream i really like it i like the shape of it as well it's really good um yeah and alongside obviously working and being busy with work so my shifts are really weird hours on this new desk like today i'll be working 5 p.m to 1 a.m um which i don't mind luckily because it's work from home but yeah it's it's weird shifts but i don't it's kind of nice to have something a little bit different from my usual like nine to five or ten to six um and yeah alongside um like you know working and stuff like that my husband and i have started our own podcast if you haven't heard about it already very very excited about it very proud of it um i had hired um, a designer to make the logo and it's called small talk with tamim and sharon we talk about like south asian um community and muslim community issues and topics around that stereotypes that surround it as well you know we want to kind of destigmatize uh some of these stereotypes that are around us and you know we talk about you know relationships and things like that it's like a mixed board of stuff 
um, one of them was, you know, pursuing a career versus being a homemaker, which is something very much with our culture. And I talk about it and, you know, he gives his opinion, the male perspective, I give mine. And yeah, it's just, you know, we hope people actually are enjoying it. So far, so good. We are now on episode nine, which has been great. The episode nine uh, we filmed yesterday, which was conflict um, amongst spouses and like, in your living situation so obviously a lot of us tend to be living with our in-laws so uh, how to deal with like the conflicts you might have at home how you can overcome it and things like that so we do a lot of talking about that so I live with my in-laws obviously I have been living with them for the last three years and alhamdulillah it's been great so yeah we kind of just talk about stuff that could potentially happen how you can resolve it and yeah I just I'm really enjoying recording with my husband and like talking about these stuff i know loads of people wanted him to be on my youtube channel and it could still happen i don't know he's quite a shy person so he really didn't want his face um or like to be sitting in front of a camera um but like the recording thing was something new to him as well and yeah i think it's it's been really good progress with the podcast and I'm very proud of it and um, you know we've covered stuff like you know wearing the hijab and you know there's loads more topics to come um, and we try and upload once a week on a Friday usually we're still figuring out the scheduling part of it because um, a lot of people watch it listen to it at different times so actually um, we're trying to figure out what the best timings uh, works. Um, this is the next product. This is the Monsieur Big Lancome Mascara. I love this mascara. I've only, I purchased it I think a couple months ago and I have been really enjoying this. Um, I don't know, I've been gravitating towards more high-end mascaras recently. Um, I love the Huda Beauty one. Uh, that's one that I've repurchased already many times. Um, and I just think this one is really nice as well. I love this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk one. I had a little mini version of it and it's beautiful. And I will definitely, I think, purchase the full size eventually. Once I get through all my other mascaras that I have already. Um, but yeah, in terms of my podcast, definitely I'll leave a link down below if you haven't checked it out already. We'd, you know, really appreciate your support. Uh, I have been sharing a couple videos on TikTok. We have a, a small talk podcast, TikTok, um, which we think hopefully might generate um, viewers, uh, listeners. And yeah, I just, um, we're just starting out. So it's a little bit of a slow progress in terms of me like getting all of this stuff together but uh we just wanted to kind of start it off and then you know we use like social media to kind of promote and stuff like that after uh and now we're on like nine episodes so it's getting to a point where like i'm like okay it's time to start really um putting more time into like social media posts and things like that uh but yeah my husband has been a part of this journey uh I was surprised that he wanted to even do it with me but you know part of my job as a journalist actually I found that um, you know there's a lot of stuff and there's a lot of negativity around you know the Muslim community South Asian community that we don't talk enough about and it just felt like the right thing to do in terms of not only trying my best to address these in written pieces but also addressing it vocally um, and this felt like the best way to do that and my husband being the teacher that he is we kind of have a balance of like you know you know a lot of the times you'll find us debating a lot of subjects as well in the podcast because you know sometimes his views and my views are very different um you know i'm quite actively loud and like i want to say a lot of stuff um he's a little bit more reserved but you know again it works for us and i hope people have been enjoying the podcast uh yeah it's just been a great great like experience for me i really have enjoyed like having these discussions with my husband and i think hopefully people are benefiting from it we have had people come in i know we've gotten a couple of ratings as well already on them which has been nice um so yeah i'm just hopeful that people carry on listening to us and 
not finding us you know boring I guess uh, okay we've got the lip products I've got the hourglass um, lip gloss I, I think it's called the lip gloss I don't know what it is it's in the shade haze I got this while I was on the style desk and um, it's a very um, glossy formula which I'm not one for gloss but when I tried this out I was like this is really beautiful and the colour is beautiful I think it suits my complexion a lot like yeah it's just so nice um, but yeah I'm really not a glossy person but this really nice and it's not sticky or anything like that hasn't transferred onto my teeth or anything I've also been loving several other lip products honestly there's loads of lip I kind of rotate with my lip products but this is the other one I've been using a lot of and it's the Pat McGrath um, lipstick in the shade Omi or Omi if that's how I say it and it's just this nice muted pink I usually line my lips with something a little bit deeper than this color and yeah I just love the way it looks I then oh have forgotten that I need to do my highlighter this again I was uh, given as a gift from the style desk and oh my gosh I mean look at that I have obviously been religiously using the gold which is you know standard practice right um, and it is beautiful I know like loads of influencers have this this palette and I was like oh my gosh I would love to try that and they were like you can try it and I was like oh my gosh really uh, but yeah I was very very excited to get my hands on this um, yeah and you know I love makeup so it made sense and they were like yeah you can have it and I was like oh my gosh <laughs> thanks uh yeah and then final products that I have are just these two um face mists now the this is the morphe continuous setting spray um love this product I have a few backups of this already um I yeah I just really like this it just it does the job mm. it smells good as well uh, but I like the mist on this it's really good um, so yeah I've been using this a lot more and then the newer product in my collection is the Urban Decay All Nighter Vitamin C Cactus Flower Water I had the original which I ran out of and then Star Magazine team were able to give me this one they actually got given quite a few of these to test out um like collectively for the team and yeah i was given one and i really like this i think i don't think it's as good as the original is it i don't know if you can tell the difference to be honest but it's got vitamin c in it so that's always handy um yeah and yeah i've just been really enjoying this but yeah I feel like I don't know if I rambled enough did I say enough in terms of what's been going on in my life I mean personally you know I'm just you know trying to balance work and life together um, especially with like these different timings that we have uh, but I've got loads of content coming your way I'm very excited to show you like I've tried to change up my room a little bit I've got a lot of beauty content coming your way as well um, yeah i just feel like this is it i hope you know i said enough in terms of what's been happening in my life to be fair it's been just work related honestly and like you know sorting this podcast out um but yeah i hope you have a fantastic day and i shall see you in the next video bye